And in my playbook tonight, more controversy surrounding intelligence operations in Iraq during the Bush administration. Former Blackwater employees told the New York Times that between 2004 and 2006, they actively participated in secret CIA raids in Iraq and Afghanistan. But Blackwater's government contract only authorized them to use force defensively. Now CIA officials are saying that the agency's director, Leon Panetta, has ordered a special review of those contracts. For more, let me bring in who we consider to be the authority on this issue, and that is the nation's Jeremy Scale. Jeremy, good to have you with us tonight. Exactly what, and of course, he is also the author of the book, The Rise of the World's Most Powerful Mercenary Army, Blackwater. Jeremy, exactly what were they doing uh, with, in conjunction with the CIA that the Congress didn't know about? Well, let, let me just stress at the, uh, at the beginning here, Ed, that the American people and indeed the Congress only know a tiny fraction of the dark acts that Blackwater has committed uh, in the names of the American people. In fact, I've had Blackwater operatives come up to me and say, I've read your book and you only know about 1% of the things that we were involved with. This story that broke today in the New York Times was essentially a, a, a public secret uh, for those of us, us that have been covering this issue. Blackwater operatives were supposed to be doing what's called force protection for CIA operators that were in Iraq and Afghanistan, and this contract goes all the way back to 2002. And what we understand is that the Blackwater guys, many of them former Navy SEALs, Delta Force, were actually participating actively uh, in raids, and in some cases uh, in the uh, uh, extraordinary rendition or the rendition of prisoners uh, as part of this CIA team. Do we know how many Blackwater personnel were involved? Because a, a lot of the media reports uh, over the last six, seven years, we've got so many troops here, so right. many troops here. Have we really gotten an accurate number about what kind of resources and personnel that we've well, had committed in Iraq and Afghanistan? Ed, th this, this company is a, was a plausible deni deniability machine. Uh, Eric Prince, the owner of that company, built a parallel infrastructure to the U.S. military. He had an air force with his own aircraft. He had a a maritime division. He had Blackwater Select, which was providing special operations guys. They were guarding and still do guard U.S. Uh, diplomats and ambassadors, including the U.S. ambassador in Afghanistan right now. Uh, Ed, I also understand that Blackwater, because it's owned by such an incredibly wealthy individual, did some operations for free. That's the ultimate deniability under the Bush administration. There were arrangements with Cheney, the CIA, and special forces where Blackwater's guys were essentially working for free in operations funded by the owner of that company, Eric Prince. The, the story here, though, Ed, that everyone seems to be missing is that Blackwater wasn't just working for the CIA. They were working for the Joint Special Operations Command, the U.S. military. And uh, we talked about this on your show recently, including in Pakistan, where Blackwater simultaneously works for the CIA and for JSOC. That story is a scandal that needs to be investigated much more thoroughly, Ed. Is this relationship between Blackwater and the CIA and the use of Blackwater still in existence under the Obama administration? It certainly is. In fact, uh, news was breaking as, uh, as uh, I came on tonight uh, that uh, Leon Panetta, the CIA director, is trying to cancel uh, Blackwater's participation in the CIA drone bombing campaign, uh, which uh, has put its operatives on the ground not only in Pakistan, but in <coughs> Afghanistan as well. And so uh, my understanding from sources both within yeah. Blackwater and outside is that Blackwater remains very active with both U.S. Special Forces and the CIA. Jeremy, we'll be calling on you a lot. I appreciate your time tonight on The Ed Show. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ed.